Okay, we're quickly going to talk about panning. Um, if you've heard this term before, you might have seen photos of cars or motorbikes, like the ones about to go past, where the, the, the car or motorbike is pin sharp and in focus, but the background is blurred. Really gives a good effect of, uh, a, of a speeding car or speeding bike. Now, I'm going to show you quickly how to do that, and it all depends on how fast the actual object's moving. Now, the cars we're seeing here on this road, it's, it's, it's quite a fast road, so the cars are moving quite fast. So you actually need a fairly fast shutter speed to get it right. But before we take any shots, I just want to quickly explain the three differences of taking shots like this. First way, if I was to set a super fast shutter speed and get a car just coming straight past, which we're going to wait for this one to come past, and I'll take a shot at 500th of a second, um, and I'm just going to point the camera straight over the road, and as the car goes past, I'm going to take a photo. I'm actually on 800th of a second, so here we go. Now, you'll see on this photo that even though the car is moving quite fast and I've got a shutter speed of 800th of a second, the car is actually stopped dead in the photo. So the car is pin sharp, no blurriness, the background is, is completely pin sharp as well. So that hasn't given any emphasis of speed at all. Now the second way to do that, uh, when we get another car coming past, is actually to set a slower shutter speed of, I'm going to use 160th of a second, not move the camera and just point forward. Now for that shot, you'll see on this one, the background, because I was on 160th of a second and not moving the camera, is completely sharp. But the car itself shot through the screen and it's gone blurred. So that's one way of emphasizing, say something like a dangerous road. The background's uh, nice and clear in the background, but the car is zooming into the shot. Now that would show if you wanted to emphasize a dangerous crossing for children outside of school, that kind of thing, that kind of photo would be perfect. Now to show and emphasize a fast moving car with the background blurred, like a sports car or a sports bike, anything like that, we're gonna use 200th of a second and pan with the car as it goes past. So let's try that. Now on that shot, you're seeing that the car is actually quite a lot more in focus and sharp and the background has gone very, very blurred. And for that, like I said, that kind of shot would illustrate um, the speed of a car if you're trying to emphasize that the speed is a good thing for a car. So really, that those are the three ways of actually doing a panning shot. If the, if the cars or anything were going slower, let's just take another shot while this car goes past. So you move with the car. As soon as it goes into the middle, you take the photo. Let's try it again. Smaller car this time. As it goes past, take the shot. Now that one's absolutely spot on. Because it's got writing on the side, we can see the writing clearly. The background's blurred, but the car's absolutely in focus. So you have to, when you're doing panning shots, you have to work out how fast the, the objects are moving. If something's moving fairly slowly and you're using 200th of a second, it's going to be too fast and you're not going to get any panning sensation at all. Um, for that kind of speed, if something's going fairly slowly, you're going to need something like a 30th of a second or even as low as a 15th and hold it steady and follow and track the subject. If something's going very fast and you use a super slow shutter speed, you're going to get way too much movement. So the idea is just to practice. And if an object like this fast road here, you're, you're shooting something like this, use a faster shutter speed and pan until you get the car in focus and the background blurred and just find that ultimate shutter speed for what you're shooting. So it's an, again, it's, it's just about practicing. And again, if you're doing someone on a push bike going along slowly, use a 30th of a second or a 60th and just take the shot and hopefully you'll get the background blurred there as well. But really, just get out and practice.